Hey, good morning guys, Eugene here. I'm actually doing a video this morning from my iPhone instead of the computer. Um, been away for a few days. Um, having to, to help someone out remodel their bathroom and, uh, you know, it's a relative. And, uh, you know, it does say in Timothy, Paul writes to Timothy that, you know, we are worse than an unbeliever if we don't help out our relatives or immediate family and you know they're in a time of need and it's time to get some things done but almost done with that project but um i want to come on here today to tell you about a dream that i had a dream that i had last night and it was a very interesting dream and i haven't been thinking of anything to cause this dream to come about um, but I want to tell you about it. It's about uh, being hunted down uh, if you don't have this right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and get to the point of the dream. And I hope each and every one of you has had a blessed weekend as I have. Um, still trying to wake up this morning, so... But uh, I had this dream last night about being hunted down um, so that they could force the V on me. Uh, the dream started that I was running and hiding in this forest style area. Um, it, was, it wasn't a heavy or thick forest, it was a lightly covered forest, but nonetheless it was a forest style area. Um, there were not many trees in the forest and the ground around me was tilted as if I was running downhill and the ground was actually also covered with leaves just like it was uh, somewhere around the end of summer or August or not August but uh, fall you know summer or fall time because it was still sunny outside but I had the impression in the dream that it was around the end of summer or the beginning of fall because the leaves were starting to turn in the stream um, but I remember in the dream that there was a lot of people running after me they were hunting me down they were trying to track me um, these people were not regular cops or, or anything they were more of a Oh, how should I put this? A mafia-style '70s type look. I mean, where they had the um, the little fat hats and the, the the leather jackets and the and uh, something that you would see off of like The Godfather or some of those '80s-style movies, you know, that depict the mafia. And I remember that as I was running through this forest area. Um, that I ran upon these rectangular walls that were made of foliage and wood. It was like six or seven foot tall walls and they were like covered in foliage, you know, leaves and everything else and made of wood. And some of these um, walls, or actually one of these walls, had an overhang to it, a long overhang, which was that you could see parts, parts of the way through. And uh, I remember running up to this wall and hiding behind it, the one that had the overhang to it. It was the closest one to me. And I was trying to look around to see if I could see any of the chasers in the dream. And as I did, I uh, happened to look up through one of the overhangs and I saw one of these, these mafia style people holding a pistol looking down at me and he was kind of like motioning to the other people, you know, hey, I found him. Here he is. You got to come get him. And uh, I had the impression that he was wanting to shoot me or he was going to shoot me. And he didn't. Um, they had other interests in mind. And as I'm standing there looking at him, I happened to uh, uh, look over to my left, turn from him, look to my left, and there's like a set of stairs that are like right beside me leading back up the hill, like through the wall. It divides the, 
this foliaged wall and uh, I saw one of another of these mafia style people running down the set of steps that divided the wall next to me and as he I was like right next to it so I knew that if I moved you know I would be seen by this guy instead of the one above me that was still looking at me but apparently this guy here that was coming down the stairs didn't hear the other guy yelling or trying to say you know where my location was and as he got to the bottom of the steps I saw that he was holding like this right here a a um, um, a, a needle I'll just put it that way if you know what I'm talking about and it was filled with fang juice so I knew exactly what this was and why they were trying to hunt me down they weren't trying to really kill me this way they were doing it this way and as he got to the bottom of the steps I thought that I was going to be caught but miraculously he did not even turn to his right to where I was located next to him it's like I was not even there it's like I was you know invisible or I was being protected he did not even turn my direction as a matter of fact he actually turned to the left and started going down along the side of the wall looking for me in the opposite direction and I felt that I was being protected at that point. Um, as soon as he was in the distance, I ran from the wall towards the bottom of the hill in the forest. And I got to this little, like, um, a flat level area. And I turned around and I saw, as I turned around, I saw these other men coming down the hill. They were still chasing me, trying to capture me. But as they got within, like, shouting distance of me, I saw someone or something that I don't think I was allowed to see because I really couldn't define what it was. I saw that they were, like, ambushed by this someone or something, and they were overtaken. They were overcome by it. And I, I had no weapon to protect myself. But as these men were being overcome by it, I remembered they either dropped their weapons or weapons appeared on the ground near me. Um or, you know, in front of me in, in the distance a little bit. And as these men were being overcome by whatever this was that I don't think I was allowed to see, honestly, you know, I, I ran up and grabbed either one of the weapons that fell from their hands, because that, that part really wasn't defined, um, or I picked it up off the ground. But as I did gain a weapon to defend myself the dream ended and you know this it, it's coming to this point to where you know this dream uh is becoming a, a reality for other people around the world right now because in some parts of the world, they are being, uh, oh, shall I say, forced. But I wanted to share this dream with you um, so that you would be, you could be aware as to what's taking place. And I really do feel that this dream is was a message that uh, was given that had to be delivered to you um, I felt impressed you know upon to do so and uh, 
it reminds me of, I believe it's Revelation 3.10. It's either 3.9 or 3.10. I'm just trying to do this off the top of my head, but it reminds me of Jesus telling John um, that those who uh, are looking for his appearance, those that persevere, those that endure, those that are waiting faithfully for him, he will keep them from the hour of trial. And the word keep, I think it's actually translated, if you look in the original Greek, it's translated as being um, not taken out of, but protected against. You know, he's going to He's going to watch over us. He's going to guard us during this time. Because this time is getting ready to come upon the whole world. And that's been their main goal this, this whole time. You know, I personally believe that the overall global um, problem, I'll just put it that way, was created so that they could administer their sorceries, their pharmakia. And it's going to come a time where those of us who do not take it will be hunted down. It's getting to that point. And brothers and sisters, please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes upon Jesus Christ. You know, Psalm 91 tells us that God is our refuge and we are to keep underneath his wing. He is our protector. You know, and he promises that he'll protect us during these times. Because these times are coming up on the world faster than than any of us can realize they are they are coming quickly as the Bible said they would keep your faith in Jesus Christ keep your trust in him brothers and sisters as long as you do and not turn away during this time as long as you keep your faith in him he promises to protect you don't turn your faith away. Don't rebel. Don't depart. Um, and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about and haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you know, he's warning you know, his children, his followers all around the world, giving them dreams and visions, fulfilling Acts 2.17. You know, he's been doing that for a while. These are the end days. And he's telling his people. But we'll know the we'll know the season that we're in. And there is hope. Especially for those who don't believe. Now's the time. You know, he forms you in the womb. He knows you. He loves you. And he sent his son to die for you. That if you believe in him and you accept his sacrifice and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and then you let the Lord Jesus Christ become the king of your life to set in your temple here, then you'll be saved. Turn from your sins. Repent and believe. Believe on him. And he will protect you from what's to come. And that way you'll also have an eternal life with him in heaven. Feel free to share this dream with anyone that you want. Um, if 
you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you on the channel. Please, please do so if you wish. My brothers and sisters, I will talk with you soon. And I hope you have a great day. Eugene out.